I mean, we got 24 hour down there. You talk about drugs? Oh, yeah, I was on drugs. I was on all kinds of drugs. Uppers, downers. I had to get uppers to get up and downers to go to sleep. <laughs> I, I, I would never made it in Vegas. I stayed up for three days at a time and just ha ah, ha ha. Acted like it was all fun and games. Well, what, what, came, what ended up happening is that I ended up getting out of prostitution by almost being killed. Uh, Johnny, my old man, uh, was coming down the highway this way and I was going that way with the Cadillac convertible that I own. Going that way, and he was coming this way with George Bennett, his buddy, and the Mercedes Sportster. But we're talking, you know, huge, huge money action. So that's why it's also so hard to get out of it is because of the money. And, 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 and it's dirty money, and we spend it as fast as we get it. At least I did. I spend it as fast as I could get it. Hey, here, you want some money? <laughs> here. And, and, and here, he, I heard this bang. Boom. And I looked, and this car coming, I heard this bang. And it went by, and here's Johnny sitting on the passenger side of, the, of George Bennett's convertible, right? And, and he's like this. He's got his arm up, and he's shooting at me like this. I pushed that gas in that Cadillac, and I was flying, honey. I was flying. And I cut, I, there was a bar, and it had gravel parking lot, and I slid that Cadillac in there sideways like this, and spun around all the way around. Me and this friend jumped out of the car, ran into the bar, ran into the, said, call the police, somebody's trying to kill me, Johnny's trying to kill me. And they called the police, the police came and said, I don't see any gunshots on your car. You know, nobody, it doesn't look like anything happened. You didn't get shot. Your car didn't get shot up. You know, and, and they kind of ignored it. Blew me off. Well, I got I, I went to the airport that night and flew to to California to my mother's house. I was in my late uh, uh, late twenties. I went to my mom and 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 I broke down and we went to church and I found God again and I got away from got got out of it. But not until I actually tried to kill myself. I actually slit my wrist and took uh, over a hundred sleeping pills. I was in the hospital and they had my arm out like this, and I'll never forget as long as I live. My arm was laid open. You could just see inside the arm, and I thought, this is what has happened to me from prostitution, from this life of sin. And you know, I'm not, I'm not one that to, to be. I'm not a holier. You know, I'm not a real preachy person. But I, I believe it, but without God, I probably would have never made it. Yeah. You know, really. I mean, see, you can still see the stuff. But anyway, God love you all, and I'm so glad that you came. And I'm serious, if there's anybody out here that would like to testify and come to my TV show, I have a TV uh, show called Breaking My Silence. It's in the White Bear Lake. It's at the Suburban Community Channel. I'm on Channel 15 uh, every week. I have... I'm, I'm getting together all of the organizations, the Sardrono, um, the, um, the um, um, Breaking Free has not come on my show yet. I wish they would, but um, get the word out. Um, and I'm getting all the organizations that are helping women get out of this life. And I'm putting them on TV because you know what? When I was at home or when I was there, by myself and, and wanted to get help. There was no place to call. There was no place to go. There was no aid. There was no. There was no welfare. There was nothing. There was no help for, for me anywhere. And so all I'm trying to say to you is that if, if we knew, we could look on TV and we could see where to go. What's the address? What's the phone number? What's the, What's the, you know? That's what I'm doing. That's what my partner and I, Patty Wickland, she's my my producer of uh, the shows. And she's the editor, and we, we, work, we go over, we, we're at the community channel in White Bear Lake. It's the suburban community channels. And we take our, our tapes to all around the whole, whole neighbor, all the, all, the, all the towns. So you'll all be able to see it soon. It's being put out now. And I want you to come be on my show. I hope you will. I love, love your heart. Thanks. Radio show, guys. Listen, I have a radio show too. Hey, hey, you can call in and talk to me. It's called Hey Z Radio Network. It's Hey H E Y, and then a Z, and then Radio Network. And I'm on every Monday night between nine and eleven. Just go to your computer and Google Hey Z Radio, 
and go to um, listen, and I'm on 9 to 11 every Monday night. Okay, it's breaking my sounds on there too, Jane McCormick. And I love you guys, and God love you all for coming. This is a really great turnout. I, I'm sure everybody is happy, and you made this girl just smile from ear to ear. <laughs>
The reality is very few resources and opportunities exist in this country. Shockingly, many of the ones that do step out and are asking for help only find discouragement. 365. They are put on a waiting list that may take up to 365 days in one year. They are told they must take a number. Service has worked with homeless youth, teen prostitution, and transitional homes since 1995. The Annex Network is a vision to provide opportunities to anyone who wants to get out. Crisis and treatment resources need to be expanded. Research and counselors testify that significant ongoing relationships with healthy role models and community are keys to lifelong change. Currently, these are virtually void for those who want help. A network of accessible resources and traditional homes is what is desperately needed for long-lasting change. The Annex Transitional Home Model incorporates professional resources with a holistic life skills program that partners with volunteer role models and sponsoring communities and congregations. Sex trafficking victims need an opportunity to make a break from the past and build a foundation for the future. Be a part of providing opportunities to those in bondage right here in the USA. some more information is the annex on our transitional home it's called the annex and we have a seminar coming up on october 27th um, it's 8 30 in the morning to 1 p.m um, and that's at bethel seminary here locally um, and then also we have a benefit reception for source which you can learn about everything we do from art to oh gosh have a skate ramp to um because anything bring your gift we'll find a place for it and um, it can be used just like the video we shared um, makeup Awesome. She went and learned how to do it, and that was her tool. Um, you name it, cooking, uh, child care. Um, we need it. We need people in every gift area and everything they have to fight this thing. Um, so I encourage you to um, to use it, to get involved, and um, kind of come find out more about um, what we do and get a support team to help you try to do do more. Um, yeah. And I just want to let you to the next and last look to kind of just celebrate um, the freedom that there is in the hope and um, people actually having awesome. Awesome endings to their stories. Um, so I So thanks for Strips my conscience bare.